Hello everyone. So today in this video, we'll go through a problem from the latest Code Forces Round 744. Problem name: Cashmere String Solitaire. So in simple terms, you can read the problem statement first. But in simple terms, it states that you are given a string which consists of A, B, and Cs only. Cool. Capital A, capital B, and capital C. Now what you can do here is you have two types of operations you can do. In one operation, what you can do, you can choose one A and one B and delete it from the string. Like you can choose any A and any B and delete it from the string. And in the second operation, you can choose any B and any C and delete it from the string. Cool. So now these are the two operations you can do on the string: choose any A and any B deleted, any B and any C deleted. Now the problem is just asking you that doing any number of times these two operations, can you make this string empty? Can you delete A, B, and B, C in such an order such that the string in the end should become empty? Now, how you can uh, look over this code here is let's draw some example. Uh, let's say cool. Now, what you can easily observe here is like in this problem, first count out the number of A, B, and C. How many A's are there? One, two, uh, one, two, uh, two A's. How many B's are there? One, two, three, four, five. And how many C's are there? One, two, three. Now, what you can simply observe here is that in the first type of operation, if you do the first type of operation, in the first type of operation, what you are doing? You are doing, you are deleting A's, and when you are deleting A's, some B are also deleting out. Cool. So now, what you, you what you have to ensure is that if you have to delete this whole string, then you have to delete all the a's. If you want to delete all the a's, then all the b is also in the second part also. So, if I want to delete all the a's, then b should be greater than or equal to a only. What I mean by this is, if b is two, if the frequency of b of and a are two, then it is also fine because I can delete a and b two times because it will couple. So you have to see how many couples you can form. Okay. So if B should be greater than or equal to A, B should not be less than A. Cool. If B is less than A, let's say I have only one A, like I have two A's and one B. In that scenario, what what will happen? I can only form one couple of A and B, and the other couple cannot be formed because B is only one. And in that scenario, what will happen? That some A will be left out, and if some A will be left out, it will not be deleted because A will only be deleted with some Bs. So in that case, the answer will become no. Else, in the other case, if B is greater than or equal to A, then you have like how many operations you will do? You will do two operations to delete all As, and in that operation, the B will also delete. How many Bs will delete? Two Bs will delete. So if deleting B, it will turns out to be three. Now, I in the next operation, in the second operation, what you'll do? You'll delete all Bs and all Cs. And because in the end all the B and all the C should be deleted out, the B and C after this operation should be equal. So if B is equal to C after this operation, then the answer is yes, else the answer is no. So that's the whole logic for this problem. Let's move down to the like problem or the solution part. What I've done here is so I count out the frequency of A, B, and C in the whole string. So if B is less than A, uh, what I've told you in that scenario, the answer is no. Else, if B is greater than or equal to A. What I'll do, I will delete out the number of A's from B, and in the end, the second type of operations are done. So in that operation, A should be equal the number of B's left should be equal to C. Then also, then they can only cancel out. Uh, they can only form a pair, and in that case, the answer will be turns out to be yes because in the end, the total string will be disappeared, and the answer turns out to be no. I hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Then keep coding and bye.